Hey guys, it's Noah here, back another video for you guys today. Today we are looking at NRL.com's Gold Coast Titans Round 1 predicted team for the 2021 season. I've done this myself because I am a Titans fan, as you can see through the shirt. Um, but Chris Kennedy and Jamie Soward has gone through and chosen their Round 1 predicted team and given their thoughts and opinions on it. So we'll be running through this one, as we have with the Broncos, Raiders, Bulldogs and Sharks and we'll be going through the rest of the teams as well So if you guys don't want to miss out on any of those on any of the predicted team lineups and my thoughts and opinions on their um, 2021 team then make sure you do hit that like rating like button and subscribe And we'll jump into the Gold Coast Titans round one predicted team here. Thanks to Chris Kennedy and Jamie Soward So Dave of the will be fit for round one and AJ Brimson will also be targeting the start of the season However, since they've um, released this from the 3rd of January, um, AJ Brimson has been confirmed 100% ready to go for round one, which is awesome. The team also largely picks itself, although Tanner Boyd, Bo Forma, Sam Stone, Jermaine Joloff, and Corey Thompson are all pushing for spots. And that is some good depth um, to have those players there pushing for spots. Tyron Peach had an excellent, excellent finish to the season at lock. But with two high profile number 13s recruited, he may revert to the bench. Now, I don't think that is a bad choice as we just quickly go on to the actual predicted team lineup here. We have got AJ Brinson at fullback, Anthony Don, Patrick Herbert, Brian Kelly, and Philip Semi as the back five. Ash Taylor and Jamal Fogarty there in the halves. Uh, Mo Fodawaka, Mitch Rain, Jared Wallace, the front three. David Vida, Kevin Proctor, and Tina Fasul Malawi uh, bind the back of the scrum. And on the bench, we've got Tyrone Peachy, Herman SASA, Sam McIntyre, and Sam Lasone on the bench. That is a very strong team. The two players that do miss out, however, are Tanner Boyd, Aaron Clark, Darius Farmer, Bo Fermo, Jermaine Jolliffe, Gregory Mazu, Jonas, uh, Jonas Pearson. Toby Sexton, Jermaine Spry, Sam Stone, Corey Thompson, and Jai Whitbread. So we've got some very good depth in our team, something that we've probably been lacking for the last few years, but it's a very solid team. And the thing with Paro and Peachy coming off the bench, he can slot straight into that um, second, like second row, that lock spot if he does come on for someone like Tino, Kevin, or David. Um, if he does have to come in, they can all just kind of switch to that second row position and Tyrone can play that lock, that like kind of ball playing lock that he played last year, which played very well for the Titans. Um, I think it's the best season he's had at the Titans since he's been there. So a very interesting team for the 2021 Titans. I think I picked pretty much similar to what is on here. I think I didn't have Anthony Don in my team, but um, I do like the Don. Hopefully the Don does have a good year for us. And... Overall, very solid team, and I, I've been saying this a lot. I don't see them coming any lower than sixth. Um, I think sixth should be the spot that they are aiming for. I don't think they. Sh I think sixth should be in their mind what the eighth spot is. You don't want to drop lower than eight because if you drop lower than eight, you're out. Of the, you're obviously out of the finals. And they should have that mentality for um, the sixth spot. If you drop below six, you're out of the finals. Um, with the team they've got, I, I'm not saying they will be a top, top tier team. I don't think they'll be a top four team next year, but I do think they will be a team that slots into the finals and is deserved of a spot next year, which is the main thing. Um, next year, we have a spot that is deserved year after and year after, hopefully. Hopefully. But um, as we continue on here, Jamie Soward says they've recruited well. Uh, I think the real. I think the hype is real, but I'm not sure it's going to happen straight away. The same for me. Uh, the question is, next season will um, the question the question next season will be around does their marquee money go in? Ash Taylor and Kim, Jam Ugh, Jamal Fogarty get them into position enough. I think Jamal Fogarty has the potential. That's why I think that we won't be that top top team. Players like Jamal Fogarty still trying to develop his game, so. Players like that, and I'm, I'm just not sure that we'll click completely together this year. I think we'll click more towards the end of the year, and leading into the 2022 season will be very good. Uh, there's a young spine you like the look of, 
the rain is the right fit for the hooker or to wait and see I think that's the um, next money kind of splurge we need to go into is the hooker role someone like Brandon Smith would be awesome even though I don't think he is really um, a player that we would be able to get a player like him would be awesome Cam McInnes if he wanted to come up you know he's a really high profile player kind of help us through these years and then try to bring someone up under them which I think they've been trying to do recently with um, Nathan Peets um, obviously Mitch Rain but Aaron Clark might be that new you know that hooker that we need in 2022 but hopefully he'll be able to develop enough so that we can put the money in through the whole team rather than just that one player we'll have to wait and see Wallace has um, turned a page so um, well, sorry, Wallace has to turn a page or he might find himself on the bench. I think Herman as an SA might start over him. I I could see that happening, you know. I could actually see that happening. And they have an impressive squad. I would like to see Peachy. I'd like to see Peachy just accept the utility role and not worry about trying to pin him down to one position. Which is also true. Um, he can obviously come in as a centre if someone is injured. And having him off the bench rather than a tired lock that switches to centre could be beneficial for the team so either way i'm very excited for 2021 season hopefully i will be able to go to the titans cowboys game however is a high possibility that i won't just because the game is on the night before my baby's due so whether or not i can go i'm not sure so we'll have to wait and see how we are with all that but guys if you did like this video please do leave that like or any like i said subscribe to miss out on any more of these type of videos Obviously, the season's coming up very soon. I'm going to be doing the uh, NRL All-Stars Boxing Vlog and the NRL All-Stars Mary Indigenous All-Stars Vlog as well. So if you guys want to, don't want to miss out on that stuff, make sure you do subscribe as well. Comment what you think the Titans will, where they'll come in the ladder next year. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.